Hello all, my name is Sachin Silar. In this video, we will see Secure a Light 440 Multifunction Meter Part 1. So in this video, I will be introducing to you Secure a Light 44 series multifunction meter. I will be explaining its features. Then we will discuss few of its applications and at the end, I will show you the difference between different models. Let's start. Let me introduce to you the Secure Elite 44 series, 440 series multifunction meter. So this is a multi-line three-phase digital panel meter. In this picture, you can see this is a multi-line. There are four lines and different values are shown here. It is an accurate and reliable measurement of electrical parameters. It is useful for industrial as well as for commercial applications. Basically, it has large multi-line backlit LCD display. So in this picture, it is seen here. It's a backlit display, green backlit display. So easily readable. There is a multi-line and it's a LCD display. And it has Modbus communication capability, which is very important to take the data during energy audit or for power quality audit or as well as for energy management systems. It has expansion models also as per requirement, the uh, Ethernet port can be connected. Let's see its main features. It has large four line seven segment seven digit display with quadrant identification section. So nowadays with the help of uh, the solar connections, the people are working in not only in first quadrant, but all four quadrants working is there. So it is very imperative that a meter should have quadrant information. That is whether your system is working in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant or fourth. It has high accuracy. Models are available in class 0.2s, 0.5s or class 1. As per your requirement, you can choose it. For basic working, 0.5s is a good model to start with. It has average TSD measurement. This is the only parameter, power quality parameter it has available. But as an indication, it can show you TSD measurement. Mind well that it can show up to 31st harmonic. So total harmonic distortion value is computed using up to 31st harmonic and not 50th up to 50th. It can have measurement selection and you can put it in a star or delta and also you can put it in three phase four wire selection or three phase three wire se selection depending upon the requirement at the site. The most important feature as is it has Modbus communication via RS485 or even with multiple meters it can through RS485 port using Ethernet it can communicate. It is showing true root mean square that is true RMS metering and with the uh, introduction of the non-linear loads and harmonics this point is very important a meter recent meter should have true RMS measurement. There is a calibration LED for accuracy test on site. It can also do the maximum demand recording that is MD, which is one of the important part in electricity bill for industries and commercial sectors. Midnight snapshot values will be uh, stored for selected energy register at the 12 midnight for 20, last 24 hours. This is again an important feature which is useful in energy monitoring systems. It has expansion capability via add-on modules. So IO module can be added or Ethernet module can be added. Then Ethernet gateway module for easy integration for multiple meters. So you need a Ethernet capability model to it and then a gateway external gateway can be connected to it so that it can communicate with multiple meters. Let's see some of its application of this light. 440 meter. It can be used in commercial and industrial submetering and energy management system applications. 
it has also use in building management and monitoring system and it can be integrated in bms high and medium or low voltage switchgear panels can be it can be used control and relay panels is one of the application power control center panels where you require lot of measurement it can be used motor control center mcc panels it can be used and it can be used in plant automation and monitoring system for scada and ds as it has rs485 as well as ethernet port so you can see there are multiple applications for this meter let's see some of the models and their features the 440 series has these many meters 441 442 443 444 445 446 447 and 448 but there are various features which are available in only certain models so let's have a quick look on to it if you see the basic model that is 441 it can show only these many parameters that is voltage pn voltage average pn voltage phase to phase voltage average phase to phase voltage line currents for all the lines as well as average active current and reactive current and frequency so this is a base basic model but if you want the factors like frequency power factor average power factor active power and total active power then you must go for next model that is 442 and further if you still want the features like total active power reactive power then um, total reactive power apparent power and total amperage so basically reactive power and apparent power if these features are required then you must go either of any meter from 443 to 448 so depending upon requirement as basic as 441 to as advanced as 448 can be selected next uh, the remaining portion so out of that there are many variations available i but i will try to so you the important one so if you are interested in reactive power import in both quadrant together that is q1 plus q2 on reactive power export q3 plus q4 energies then you must go for 446 model or 448 model but if you are interested in individual reactive energies that is in each quadrant's energy you want individually import lag import lead export lag and export lead that is q1 q2 q3 q4 then you must go for either a 445 model or a 447 model then uh, if you want a minimum maximum value then you must go for 447 and 448 so basically you can see uh, this is a versatile meter and uh, it can be used in many application and depending upon features you can select it Thank you for watching